Hi friends, welcome to Avi's Academy. This video provides an introduction to a subject. This subject is unique and peculiar in many ways. You might have already familiar with certain subjects like accounting, uh, human resource management, marketing, taxation, financial management, banking and so on. If you take all these subjects, these subjects will help us to know about certain things or it will guide us in taking the decision, but it will not support or it will not help in taking the decision it just provides a guide or it just uh, provides the required information to take the decision now when it comes to taking decisions if there is some technique or some subject uh, which is largely focused on how to take the decision in a better manner so this is where the subject which i am introducing comes handy the subject which I'm introducing is management science and in this video I'll be giving only two examples and in the backdrop of uh, these examples I'll be highlighting why we need to study or why we need to get acquainted with some of the concepts and some of the techniques of management science because this subject will help us or will help the company in taking the decisions in a better manner because it adds quantitative touch to the decisions which they are taking. So let's move towards our introduction to the subject called management science. In the first scenario, we will consider an airline operator who is running flights between Mangalore and New Delhi seven days a week. Just for the example's sake, let us assume these two cities are very far from each other and hence involve long hour journey. The company has made a policy that the flight attendants, that is air hostess or cabin crews etc. shall be given minimum rest time or uh, technically speaking layover time for 7 hours so that they can refresh or rejuvenate themselves and serve the customers in a better manner. Since they are having multiple flights, they would like to pair these crews between flight trips that is same crew can be used in a returning flight in such a manner where all the crews get minimum rest time of 7 hours and the total layover time of the aircraft should be minimum. This is our first scenario wherein an airline operator would like to take the decision of fairing flights by keeping in mind the constraints uh, like the minimum rest time of 7 hours and the total layer time of the aircraft is minimum. Let us take one more scenario of a salesman who is traveling to different cities to sell his company's product. In one point in time, he will be in one city and then he goes to another city and then one more city and this will continue throughout the day. The company will have an idea about what are the cities the salesman is visiting and the distance between uh, these cities. The company would be interested in keeping the distance of travel to the minimum so that they can reduce the cost by ensuring that the salesman never visits the same city twice. We have considered two scenarios here. In the first scenario, we have considered the case of an airline operator uh, who wants to take a decision with respect to pairing of flights. He wants to use his crews, that is his employees, uh, in such a manner where it is not putting any burden on them because that is important in the case of airline operator because airlines success or growth of airline business largely depends upon the services which they are providing on board. The air hostess and the flight attendants, they are crucial for the growth of uh, airline business because they are directly interacting with the customers and uh, the hospitality service which they provide that uh, decides the fate of airline business. Therefore, the air hostess and the flight attendant should be happy at all times when they are providing service because it has to, the hospitality should come from their heart. Then only they will survive for a long period of time. Uh, because of this uh, reason, the flight, uh, the airline operators wants to give sufficient uh, layover time or rest time to the crews. 
so uh, but they want to use them optimally again so they are, since they are running multiple flights they want to pair the flights and they want to use these uh, uh, crews in an efficient manner so how to take this decision it's a question right in the second situation or the second scenario also we have considered a case of a salesman who is traveling from one city to another and promoting the product or selling the product of a company so in this case also company would like to keep the cost of such travel to the minimum because that uh, will influence their profit as well because the cost which they have incurred for traveling uh, that may take a major chunk from the profit and hence they want to keep the cost to the minimum so if there is single salesman in the company it won't be a, a trouble in uh, making such routes movement uh, between cities but if they have multiple salesmen and if they have uh, uh, selling products in multiple cities this decision is a difficult decision to take if in all these cases or maybe in uh, in companies uh, case when they take decisions the resources which they have is generally scarce under the constraint of scarce resources when they are taking decision if they are taking the decisions not purely based on their intuition if they brings in quantitative touch to the decision that is always helpful in uh, convincing others about the decisions which they have taken or before taking the decision itself they can convince all the stakeholders involved in a better manner this is where management science as a subject comes handy uh, to the decision makers because it provides lot of techniques that helps to take a business decision in a scientific manner so in this case in this backdrop uh, in the coming videos we will be discussing exactly what management science is and how uh, management science as a subject has evolved from uh, second world war time thank you thank you for watching the video